I want to briefly talk about supporting connective tissue for now. We're going to come back to a whole chapter on bones in the future. Bones and cartilage are the two types of supporting connective tissue. So I'll come back to these. Um, we'll see them in lab actually also in the future. So fairly brief for now. So the two types of supporting connective tissue are bones and cartilage. Here are the three types of cartilage. You can refer back to your flow chart if you'd like to. Cartilage, what's distinctive about cartilage is the matrix is a firm gel. This is because the ground substance is full of carbohydrate protein complexes. Instead of being really syrupy, um, fluid like in connective tissue proper. So in loose and dense connective tissue, the ground substance is very loose, very syrupy, thin. This is a lot thicker because it's got more stuff in it. It's more viscous. It's still 80% water, but it is um, more firm. For cartilage, the cells are called chondrocytes. So chondroblasts would be the ones that produce cartilage and produce all the fibers and then chondrocytes are gonna maintain it. So the three types are um, hyaline cartilage up here. Hyaline is found in joints. So this is gonna be the most common, the one you see the most often. You'll see it at the ends of bone when they connect to joints. You'll also see it in the trachea, so the rings that surround the, um, the trachea. And hyaline cartilage has these chondrocytes, of course, and then lacuna is the name for these groups of chondrocytes, um, such as right here. So lacuna are these kind of cavities where groups of cells are, are kept. So lacuna are the, the cavities, the spaces that contain chondrocytes, and that's true for the other types as well. Um, so hyaline cartilage contains a lot of collagen, and also a lot of ground substance. So a lot of that kind of viscous ground substance. So it's stiff, but also still flexible. Collagen fibers. Elastic cartilage is fairly similar, but it's gonna be elastic fibers. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit stretchier because it's, it's very similar structure. If you look at this picture, these look almost the same, but this, these, these tissues here, I'm sorry, these proteins here are thin elastic, elastic proteins. Earlobes, you pull on your ear, it's a little bit stretchy. That's one place with elastic cartilage. Um, so you won't see it as often. Fibrocartilage is the last type. A lot of collagen and the difference between fibrocartilage and hyaline cartilage is fibrocartilage is a lot more dense. It has more collagen ratio to ground substance. So collagen fibers are a lot more dense compared to the matrix. Um, compared to the ground substance portion of the matrix. So it's going to be firmer and stiffer than hyaline cartilage. Um, so this is some of this within the knee joint as well as um, intervertebral discs, so connecting the different discs of your, your vertebral column, as well as between the um, pubic bones of the pelvis. So this is going to limit movement but still be more flexible than bone. So basic identification of cartilage, and you'll see hyaline cartilage the most. You'll see these all in lab in the future. Last, we've got bone. Bone has a small amount of ground substance, kind of like fiber cartilage. Um, the matrix is mostly collagen fibers, as well as a carbonate calcium phosphate. So this would be a cross section of the bone and then we'd zoom in to, um, to more detail here. These would be individual cells around here. The matrix is solid calcified, and there is blood supply here. Cartilage and epithelial tissue does not have a blood supply. It's avascular. Bone actually heals fairly well because it does have a blood supply. So let's go into a picture of the histology here. Here is what's called a central canal. This is where blood and nerve go through, as you can see over here. And then we've got this matrix that is made up of calcium carbonate. You know calcium is good for your bones. Um, calcium ph phosphate as well. And collagen fibers. So really supportive, strong matrix. 
Collagen is like steel rods and the minerals are like concrete. Um, and these, this would be the, the lacuna right here, just like in the cartilage cells, that's gonna contain an osteocyte. So compared to the bone tissue, the cells are not super like obvious. They were super important. They, they made all this, right? They made the, um, the matrix that made the collagen, but they're actually in this lacuna here. This entire thing here is called the osteon. So osteo refers to bone. Um, so compared to cartilage, it's going to be stronger. And this is largely because of that calcium matrix. So that's a brief introduction to bones. We'll come back to them um, in the chapter all on bones.